The Creative Cloud has a ton for web professionals. I'm really excited to kind of take you through a sample workflow and then just show you some things that are available as part of the Creative Cloud. Because with the Creative Cloud, you get all of the CS6 desktop applications, uh, including some additional apps that uh, I'd like to show you, as well as integration with the Adobe Touch apps as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and start here, actually. I'm going to go ahead and start with this tablet. And again, available on iOS and Android tablets, uh, we have these touch apps. So here's Proto, and what it enables me to do is to create wireframes using gestures. So this is great. If I want to make, say, for instance, a menu, what I can do is I can take four fingers, swipe down just like that. Let's do that one more time. Swipe down, depending on how far apart your fingers are, you can see it automatically created that menu. And I could resize it and reposition it. This is great being able to quickly mock up something. Say, for instance, if I do an X, just like the picture shows down there, it will create uh, this placeholder image, which is which is awesome. I uh, accidentally created a line. If you ever do that, you can always eliminate it. Uh, if you want to create any sort of title, you can go ahead and just do a zigzag like that, and then horizontal lines will start to create that body copy. So you can see I'm starting to develop this uh, wireframe. So this is great. I can mock up what I want to. I could even make multiple pages and link them together. But what I want to do is I just, I'm just going to go ahead and go back with this file. And that was project five. And what I can do is I could go ahead and sync this. So I can upload it to the Creative Cloud, that project five file. I'm going to upload it to my Creative Cloud folder. Uh, so there's 20 gigs that I have available. There's some Photoshop files, all sorts of things. But I can go ahead and upload that one file to that folder. And all these assets are going to be available on my desktop. So seeing as that's done, we can go ahead and take a look at it on my desktop. Here I am on my desktop. There's my Project 5 file. I'll just unzip it. But inside of that folder are all of the assets. So CSS, HTML, I can go ahead and open this up in Dreamweaver. And again, Dreamweaver CS6 I have downloaded works just like any other CS6 app or just the apps like you're, you're used to. They live on your desktop, but they're not like floating out there and living in the cloud or anything. Uh, nonetheless, I can see my code here. I can click to design view, and I can start to develop this further. Now, whether I want to use this file or not is totally up to me, but the end result might look something a little bit more like this. So here's my asset. I can see all these graphics. I've basically used this wireframe as a starting place to make what I have here. OK, so let's shift gears a little bit, because I can go ahead and uh, you know, develop the CSS further in Dreamweaver. But what you have available in Fireworks as part of the Creative Cloud is the ability to create shapes and do some of your drawing and graphic creation using CSS. This is really exciting. So I have this shape selected, and it's just a rectangle uh, with a stroke on it. And I can always manipulate that. It's not a big deal. I can make it a little darker if I want to. Uh, but I have this CSS properties panel. This is great because these are all the CSS properties for this shape, including all of these vendor-specific prefixes down here. So I can go ahead and create what I need to create. In fact, what I'll do here is I'll just even add a drop shadow like that. I'd say that looks good. I could take all of that CSS, copy it, go into Dreamweaver, and paste it where I want to paste it. So I'll just paste it right here, just as an example. Let's go to Design View, actually Live View. And you can see that asset, all of those properties are carried over into this file onto that div right there. So you can start to use Fireworks, its ability to create assets for CSS, and actually copy that, paste it into Dreamweaver as part of your design. And uh, there's some other integrations we have as well. Because with the Creative Cloud, we've included uh, Adobe Edge, Adobe Edge Preview initially. And what it gives me the ability to do is create animation and interactivity using web standards. So this is exciting. I can use uh, uh, this great tool to create this animation and interactivity and put this on that same page if I want. So again, this is the place where it's going to go. I'll go ahead and launch Edge. And here it is. This is my promo HTML. And this is pretty straightforward. I just have a graphic here in the background. 
Well, I can animate it just by turning on the location, which essentially adds keyframes. Maybe turn on the scaling, and maybe those are the final properties that I want. So I want that to happen about three seconds in. I want them to be at that size and everything. But starting out, what I want to do is I want to shrink it down. So I can drop that down kind of like that, reposition it just like that, and it builds in that tween just like that. Nice and smooth. It animates up. Not only that, we can get a little fancy and add in some easing out as well. So it will slow down uh, as it gets larger. Now keep in mind, I'm working on the actual HTML page. So this is just great. I'm working uh, on, on WebKit. So it's like I'm working on a browser uh, in this case. So I could go ahead and preview this in a browser really fast. There it is. We can see it animate up. Now there's some additional services we have with the Creative Cloud as well. We have what is called Typekit. So I can use real fonts on my website. This is really fun because in here for this text, I can go ahead and add a font. Okay, Selecting Add Font, I can go out to typekit.com use the embed code that I get from typekit.com and place it right in here in Edge. There's my typekit embed code and I can reference that specific font. So I'm just drop that right in there and I can go ahead and identify a fallback font as well. So I can pick like an Arial, something like that and selecting add font. So you can see how it's changed there. I'll just go ahead and zoom in on that. It's changed it to that Museo slab font and Arial is the backup. So this is great from a design perspective, being able to use real fonts in your project. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this on my web page that I'm working on. So switching over to Dreamweaver, up at the top right here is the, the Edge JavaScript file that I'm including. And as I scroll down, here's the stage for that promo. So it'll basically put that, uh, that animation right here. And I could have added interactivity as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at that in a web browser. I'll run this. You can see that quick animation. Again, not a big deal. I can develop this a lot further, but I have that sort of control using Typekit, uh, using Edge to really bring this page to life. Now know that I can also use the toolkit for CreateJS, that extension in Flash Professional to output HTML content as well. So I have that capability. I can make apps using Flash Professional. It's really amazing what I can do and the fact that I have access to all of these programs. But taking this a step further as well, because we have additional services, just the last one I'll talk about, is the ability to publish this out using Business Catalyst. So we've provided hosting as well, in fact, uh, if you are a Creative Cloud member, you get up to five sites that you can have hosted. It's basically just fill in the blank, as you can see here. And it's not only hosting, but you have the ability to get analytics on your site as well. So you can see how it's performing, maybe update it accordingly. Uh, there are other things I can talk about. I can talk about Muse as well. Um, but really, hopefully, that gives you a good idea of what you can do uh, with the Creative Cloud. Being a web professional, you have access to all of these various apps, not only desktop applications, but syncing with your touch apps as well, including the services that I just talked about. And not only that, it's, it's really important to understand that since the web changes so fast, it's great that we can give you sort of the latest and greatest you know, in Edge and other programs as the web evolves. And that's the whole idea behind the Creative Cloud, giving you that power to respond to these trends that are happening as technologies get pushed forward. So uh, we want to empower you, so I encourage you to check out uh, the Creative Cloud.